Okay, so get this, right? There's this cow in World of Warcraft. Uh, it's been stuck in a tornado, like for almost eight years. Wow. Yeah, eight years. We're talking Darkshore, the zone that, you know, got completely wrecked by the cataclysm. And this one cow has just been spinning in this chaotic whirlwind ever since. Huh. So there's this Reddit thread. It's titled, This cow is stuck spinning in the tornado for almost eight years now. Mm. And it's blowing up, right? We have player reactions, jokes, even some lore discussions about this whole bizarre situation you might be wondering. I am wondering. Right, like, oh. Like a lot of the players on Reddit are. How did this cow even get there? And how has it survived for so long? Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. What's so captivating about this is how such a small detail, you know, yeah. this single spinning cow has become this focal point for so much speculation and humor within the World of Warcraft community. Totally. Some players are joking that it somehow got swept up from Mulgore, right. which for those who don't know is the Torn homeland, while others are saying it must be from Westfall. Yeah. A region known for its tornadoes. There are even folks imagining this cow, like on this epic journey across Azeroth, braving the seas by boat, oh, or right. even, get this, being carried by a swallow huh. to end up in Darkshore. That's commitment. It really highlights the playful nature of the community you know, and their ability to embrace the absurdity of the situation. Mm -hmm. While weaving these imaginative stories around it, it wouldn't be surprising if the developers took inspiration from the movie Twister. Oh, yeah. Especially that iconic line, we've got cows. Yeah. Pop culture references are all over Azra. I love that. Okay, but let's get real for a second. How has this cow survived? For eight years, it's been spinning nonstop in this chaotic tornado. <laughs> it just doesn't seem possible. Right. The Reddit thread is full of theories, of course. Some players think there are druids secretly keeping the cow alive and fed. Druids? Yeah, secretly. Others believe the cow is actually a skilled survivor somehow, you know, managing to eat debris caught in the tornado. <laughs> and then there's my personal favorite, the theory that the cow is actually a torn druid in disguise, constantly using healing spells to stay alive. Right, it's like this absurd situation. <laughs> has sparked this genuine desire to figure out how the cow could actually be surviving. Yeah. It's amazing. I think it speaks to how games, especially open world games like World of Warcraft, can really draw us in mm. and make us care about even the smallest detail. Absolutely. Those seemingly insignificant details are often what breed life into virtual worlds. They invite us to ask questions, to create our own explanations, and ultimately, yeah. to become more invested in that world. It's like this one tiny detail. Yeah. This spinning cow has become a symbol of the larger mysteries and wonders that we find in virtual worlds. It's a reminder that even in a meticulously crafted game, there's still room for the unexpected, the unexplained, <sighs> and the downright hilarious. But I think there's more to it than just humor, right? I feel like this spinning cow is tapping into something deep. You're absolutely right. This isn't just about a funny glitch in the game, the cow and its persistent spinning in the aftermath of the cataclysm could be seen as a symbol of the lasting consequences of in-game events, a reminder that even in a virtual world, actions have repercussions that can linger for years. Whoa, that's really interesting. It's making me think about all the ways that past events, even virtual ones, yeah. can continue to shape our present. Precisely. The cataclysm reshaped the landscape of Azeroth. And in a way, this cow stuck in its perpetual spin cycle represents that permanent change. But it also speaks to the power of resilience, the ability to endure even in the face of overwhelming chaos. So on one hand, we have this reminder of the destructive forces that shape the world. And on the other, we have the symbol of survival, mm. of perseverance. That's quite a powerful juxtaposition. And it's a testament to the depth of World of Warcraft's world building, that yeah. a single detail like a spinning cow, can evoke such complex themes. It's really making me think about the way we interpret and find meaning. In these virtual worlds, it's clear that the players on that Reddit thread are doing more than just laughing at the cow. They're engaging with it on a deeper level, trying to understand its place in the larger world. Exactly. They're building narratives, crafting theories, and ultimately, adding to the richness of the game's lore through their shared fascination with this seemingly insignificant detail and that brings us to another fascinating aspect of this whole phenomenon, the power of community and shared experiences in gaming. Right. It's incredible how this one little detail has brought players together from all different backgrounds and factions within the game. They're sharing jokes, theories, and even genuine concern for the cow's well-being. It's become a touch point for connection, a shared moment of absurdity that transcends the usual divisions within the game. It's a beautiful reminder that games have the power to foster a sense of community and shared wonder 
even in the most unexpected ways. I love that. Okay, so we've got a cow, a tornado, a passionate community, some profound reflections on change and resilience, and there's still so much more to unpack. There is. In the next part, we'll explore how the seemingly mundane detail connects to larger philosophical ideas about the nature of reality, both virtual and real. We'll delve into the very fabric of existence and maybe even uncover the secrets to an epic virtual milkshake. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our deep dive into the mystery of the eternally spinning cow of Darkshore. It's been quite a ride so far. It has. Before we went on break, we were talking about the fascinating way the seemingly simple detail connects to larger questions about change, resilience, and the power of community in gaming. Right. And I'm still amazed by how a single cow can spark such profound reflections. But you mentioned that we'd be exploring how this connects to even bigger philosophical ideas. I'm really curious to hear more about that. Well, consider this. In World of Warcraft, this cow exists within a very specific set of rules and systems, right? There's code, game logic, limitations to what's possible. But then you have this cow stuck in perpetual motion, seemingly defying those rules. Mm. It's like a glitch in the matrix, a constant yeah. reminder that even in a virtual world, there are things that can exist outside of the intended design. Exactly. And that leads to some interesting parallels with how we understand our own reality. Oh. Yeah. We have our own sets of laws, physics, logic, the way we perceive the world. But what happens when we encounter something that challenges those laws? Something unexplainable, a phenomenon that seems to defy reason. Mm. You're making me think about all those unsolved mysteries in the real world. Like, huh. UFO sightings mm -hmm. or paranormal activity, things that science can't fully explain. It's like we're confronted with the limits of our understanding, and it makes us wonder if there's more to reality than we can currently grasp. Precisely. And in a way, this spinning cow, as absurd as it sounds, becomes a microcosm of that feeling. Oh, wow. It makes us question our assumptions, wonder if there are forces at play that we don't fully understand. And in a strange way, it's kind of humble. It is. It's a reminder that no matter how much we think we know, there will always be mysteries, always things that elude our understanding. And I think that's where the real beauty of this whole situation lies, this seemingly insignificant detail. This yeah. cow eternally caught in a tornado has the power to spark those bigger questions, to make us engage with concepts we might not otherwise consider. So I'm also wondering, from a game development perspective, if the developers ever intended for this to become such a phenomenon, did they purposely create this spinning cow? is some kind of philosophical Easter egg? That's a great question. And it raises an interesting point about intentionality versus emergent gameplay. Did the developers specifically plan for this cow to become a symbol of philosophical pondering? Probably not. Mm. But did they create a world rich enough, detailed enough, that these kinds of emergent narratives could arise? Absolutely. It's like they unintentionally created the conditions for this phenomenon to occur. By simply creating a world that was so immersive and full of detail. Exactly. And that speaks to the collaborative nature of game development and player engagement. The developers build the framework, but it's the players who truly breathe life into it, who find those hidden stories and create meaning from the seemingly mundane in the state. In this case, it led to some pretty profound reflections on the nature of reality, the power of community, and the importance of finding humor even in the face of the unknown, all thanks to a spinning cow. But I keep coming back to this image of the cow, stuck in this endless spin cycle. It's mesmerizing, almost hypnotic. It is, isn't it? And I think that visual element is a big part of why this has resonated with so many players. The cow isn't just static, it's in constant motion. A visual representation of this eternal cycle, it's like a metaphor for life itself. Always moving, always changing, sometimes chaotic, but somehow enduring. And even though it's in this chaotic state, yeah. caught in this tornado, there's also a strange sense of peace to it. It's just spinning, existing, yeah. seemingly unbothered by the turmoil surrounding it. It's almost zen-like, isn't it? A reminder that maybe we don't need to resist the chaos, but rather find a way to exist within it, to find our own center amidst the swirling forces around us. Wow. That's a really powerful way to look at it. And it makes me appreciate the power of symbols even more. The simple image of a spinning cow has become a vessel for all these complex ideas and emotions. And it's a testament to the power of games to spark our imaginations, to make us think about the world in new ways, and to find deeper meaning even in the most unexpected places. I'm so glad we took this deep dive into the world of the spinning cow. It's been insightful, funny, and surprisingly philosophical. But before we wrap things up, I want to touch on one more thing that's been on my mind. The sheer absurdity of it all. Ah, uh, yes. We can't forget the humor. Exactly. I mean, it's a cow in a tornado 
spinning for almost a decade. It's yeah. ridiculous. And yet here we are having these deep conversations about it. I think it's important to acknowledge that sometimes. The most profound insights can come from the most unexpected and even silly sources. Absolutely. It's a reminder to never underestimate the power of laughter and to be open to finding wisdom in the most unlikely of places. Well said. Okay, so we've explored the history, the community response, the philosophical implications, and even the humor of this spinning cow phenomenon. Where do we go from here? I think the most important takeaway is the importance of staying curious, of embracing the unexpected, and of always being open to new perspectives. It's about looking at the world, both virtual and real, with a sense of wonder mm -hmm. and asking, what if? What if this seemingly insignificant detail holds a deeper meaning? What if there's more to this story than meets the eye? And what if that story can teach us something about ourselves, about the world around us, and about the very nature of reality itself? I think that's a pretty amazing way to end our deep dive. But before we go, I want to leave our listeners with one final thought. Please do. What seemingly insignificant details in your own life, both virtual and real, <laughs> might hold hidden stories or spark a sense of wonder? If you take the time to notice them, go out there explore and let us know what you discover it's wild right we've spent all this time yeah. talking about a spinning cow in the world of warcraft right, no. but it's been so fun and i think it really shows how games can make us think about things in new ways absolutely it's a reminder that even the smallest details can be important especially when you look at it through the eyes of a passionate community right and this tiny detail this cow stuck in a tornado it's become a symbol of so much, like change and resilience, the power of community, mm -hmm. and even the nature of reality itself. It's fascinating how this cow, just spinning there, has connected with so many players on such a deep level. It shows how much we want to find meaning and connection, even in the most random places. And I think it also shows how games let us experience complex ideas and emotions. Yeah. In a way, this spinning cow has become something players talk about, a way to discuss and debate these bigger themes. Yeah, it's like a cultural touchstone. And it reminds us that games aren't just for fun. They can be powerful tools for exploring ourselves, discovering new things, and even making social commentary. It's like this spinning cow represents the whole World of Warcraft experience. It has a rich history, a passionate community, and so many layers of meaning. And it shows us that the best stories are often the ones we create ourselves through playing the game and interacting with each other. So as we wrap up this deep dive, into the mystery of the spinning cow. What do we want our listeners to take away? Hmm, that's a good question. I hope this inspires them to look at the world with curiosity and wonder, both the virtual world and the real world, to pay attention to the little things, to ask questions, and to remember that shared experiences are powerful. It's about expecting the unexpected, finding meaning in the ordinary, and realizing that even something like a spinning cow can teach us something profound. Exactly. And who knows, maybe there are more spinning cows out there just waiting for us to find them. That's an exciting thought. So to all our listeners, keep your eyes open, your minds open, and embrace the absurdity of it all. Until next time, happy gaming.